Okay, so over the last year, we've been covering NVIDIA, 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 Apple, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, but now it is AMD's turn. And they are upping their AI game with a bunch of new features and new software. They've come out with what they call Amuse, Amuse version 3.0. And you can use this to create text. Apparently they're working on video as well. So not just text, but text to video. And these are some examples of what the user interfaces look like. Now this is just launched. You'll need to download a driver for your AMD hardware and you'll be able to do all sorts of awesome stuff inside of Amuse. And to use this, you're going to need the latest version of Adrenaline. Now it's really been on the software side that AMD has been weak. I mean, the hardware is fine, not as good as Nvidia's, but the software is where they've really been trailing. And you can download this software, Adrenaline software, which is going to be able to allow you to run this on your graphics card and also on your laptops. So they're saying uh, you can now experience AMD's optimized models and video diffusion on AMD Ryzen, AI and Radeon. So there's a new architecture they've got out for their laptops. It is kind of radical and it helps to sort of bridge the gap between the Windows platform and the abilities of the Apple system, which in my view has got the best architecture for this type of work. The kind of performance you'll get, well, let's take a look at the performance. You can get massive performance boosts on Stable Diffusion 1.5 and SDXL 1.0, but you can also still get pretty decent uh, improvements on SD 3.5 and also on SD 3.5 uh, large turbo. Um, there are other metrics as well that they've got, which is for the AMD optimized models, inferencing speed up in FP 16. This one shows incredible performance improvements in the latest models. So three times faster in medium, large and turbo. Not bad at all. And this is using the AI Max chips. But uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about this, I'll have some links in the description. And overall, I think it's great that AMD and also Intel are taking steps to try to challenge the dominance of uh, NVIDIA.